What's up, everybody? Good morning and welcome to my channel. I am lifestyle specialist Kimberly Liu, author, coach, and um, I'm going to be talking about conscious language with you. So I'm new to this Facebook Live, so please uh, give me a break. <laughs> give me a break because <laughs> I'm kind of figuring it out as we go along. But that being said, oh, beautiful, everybody. And by the way, please give a shout out below if this is your first time here. Please click number one. And also, I'm loving that all the people here. Hi, Carmen. Hi, Dave. Michael. Carmen. Antonio. So great to see you. Hey, Greg. Give a shout out and let me know your comments below. But today, we're going to be talking about conscious language and the words that we speak. You know, so first, I have a question for you. So, do you think that the words that we speak create our reality? Or do you feel like the words that we speak? create the world that we see well in my belief they do and I believe that either words can tear up nation or they can build it up also with words I feel like we can uh, with people we can build people up or we can tear them down and crush their souls just with our words so we have to be mindful in the words that we use because a lot of times they are declarations and that the words that we we say will either confirm and or broadcast what our belief systems are so we've got to be mindful because they are declarations of what we're intending to do and what are the outcome of what the world that we're going to see so let me say hi to a few more people hi peter hi hank robert dave so good to see you guys i love comments by the way so please um, please write comments below ask questions i love to ask questions we're going to be doing a facebook live every day this week so again, I'm new at this, so please forgive me. Um, if I mess up quite a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and give myself some forgiveness too. So let's get started, but first I'm gonna start with the story. So I remember um, talking with a client just the other day and I was training him. And he was, you know, I, I noticed that he loved scriptures from the Bible or whatever. And so I noticed that when he was talking about the Bible, it would make him strong. And then when he was talking about something that he didn't like, it would make him weak, which is very interesting. And I said, okay, well, you know, speaking of words, words will empower you or they will tear you down. So let me ask you something. Um, what are some of the things that you love? And he said, well, I love my kid. I love my wife. I love working out with you. And I could, I could tell like he was really, um, he was really uh, digging it. Yeah, like, like he, he I'm, I'm very intuitive. And so I could tell like, okay, uh, you're, I can feel whether people are lying to me or not. So I could feel from him that he was true. And he said, and he said something like, and um, I, I, my, I, my life is joyful and peaceful. And I was like, mm, not so much. I don't think so. I'm feeling a little twinge there. And, and I said, he said, what do you mean? And I said, well, I love all the love. Oh my gosh. Look at all of the hearts and everything. I love it. Billy, you're saying you're more beautiful than words can say. Oh my gosh, Billy. Thank you so much. For 6 a.m., I think I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> but anyway, so he, I said, let me show you. I'm going to bring your arm up. So bring your arm up. And so I, I put his arm up, and I tried to push. And, and I said, okay, now I want you to say something that you love. Think of something that you really, really enjoy. And so he put his arm up, and he thought about his, uh, his son. And I tried to push it down, and he went strong. I said, okay, now think about something that you know that you don't like. So he thought about something that he didn't like. He put his arm up. And I pushed it down and it just went down. He wasn't able to hold my arm up. So I was like, so when we're thinking, our thoughts and our words are the very things that will either make us strong or make us weak. So let me ask you something. Um, you know, talk about something that you, you know, talk about some more things that you love. So he's talking about race car driving because he loves, he's a race car driver. And he was talking about um, some of the things that he loves to do, like motocross, things, you know, and I push his arm down. And of course, he would go strong. These are the things that he loves. That being said, I said, okay, now let's, let's try an experiment because um, you said that you want joy and peace in your life, but I'm feeling something a little different. So I said, say the affirmation, I have peace and joy in my life. And he, I went to push out and it went down. And he goes, why would that do that? And I said, well, you know, affirmation, people always tell me and ask me, Kim, do affirmations work? And I say, absolutely affirmations work if you believe them. But what happens is if you don't believe them, you'll just make yourself weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. So Noah St. James created this term, affirmations, which is a why questions. 
But first, let me tell you, you know, a lot of times when we're speaking affirmations, I love myself, um, and you really don't believe that, then your brain says BS, it's not going to happen, it's going to make you weak. So today, in, in this whole entire week, we're going to be talking about conscious communication and how to speak the words and how them resonate with you on a daily basis so that you can now create the world that you love. I'm loving all the comments. I'm lo Man, there's a lot of comments, a lot of people in here loving all the love. Thank you so much. Super excited. I was kind of nervous to be here. But that being said, so that being said, we, um, I just lost my train of thought. So, uh, so I said, let me ask you something. Why do you have joy in your life? And he said, well, um, I have my kid. I absolutely love my kid. And I have my wife and I love my wife and I, I have joy in my life and peace in my life because I love trading with you. We live on the beach. It's gorgeous. And I said, yeah, does the, bring, the beach bring you peace? And he said, yes, it does. And I said, wonderful. I said, what about your son when he smiles? Does that bring you joy? And he said, yes. And I said, but why do you feel that you have a lack of joy in my life? And he said, well, I have a conflict between something and I just need to work it out. So I said, let me ask you something. Let me ask you some more questions. You know, if you could have joy in that area, what would it look like? And he was like, well, if I could have joy in this particular area, it would be like, you know, people are having some disagreements or whatever, but that's not my fault. I didn't do anything wrong with that. So I could step back and, and let them deal with it. I said, wonderful. And I said, where else do you have joy in your life? And he says, well, I do well at work. Um, I'm successful at whatever I do. And I said, yeah. I, see. I said, does your work bring you joy? And he said, yes. So all of these things were bringing him joy. So I said, okay, listen up. Now I want you to say your affirmation that joy brings, you know, my life has joy and peace in it. So when he lifted up his arm and I tried to push, he was now strong. So what happened there? The brain loves to solve problems. And I always say, if you're going to tell a story about your life, make it a good one because whatever you say go, but also ask yourself the why questions so that you can confirm. And so the brain can solve those positive, those positive questions, those positive why questions so that it won't start making up problems to solve. Let's like, let's give the job the brain a job to do. The brain again loves to solve problems. So we want to give it positive problems to solve. So some of the things that you can add, I love all the love. You guys loved that. Okay, good. And it is true. So that being said today, your assignment, you want to do some assign assignments with me? So today your assignment is to find something that you want to uh, create in your life. So let's just say you want to create some, um, you want to be successful. Well, you want to already find areas in your life that you already are successful. So let me ask you a question. And you guys, please write in the comments below. I love these comments. Um, uh, oh, thank you, Peter. I really appreciate that. So write in the comments below some of the things, and sure, you takeaways, some of the things that you want to improve. And then we can, you know, we can do some positive why questions with that. So if you're wanting to improve success, ask yourself, where am I already successful in your life? And you could say, well, I'm not successful anywhere. And, the, and, and, and that's BS. It's, it's bullshit. It's not true because you have been successful. Like I even tell the drug addicts, I work with Dr. Richard Grenice and a lot of like um, cognitive disabilities like schizophrenia and drug addiction and, and multiple personality disorders. I've worked with a lot of people and I'm like, I work with a drug addict one time and he was saying, and I was saying, well, where are you successful in your life? And he goes nowhere. And I go, well, let me ask you something. Is there, was there anything ever keeping you from getting a hit? when you were getting loaded and he goes no I said so you were successful at getting high and he said yeah I said so nothing absolutely nothing is going to stop you from getting a hit when you're when you're getting loaded and he said no and I said well if you applied that same tenacity to your job you'd be a billionaire by now so just think of it that way you know there are certain things that we are successful for but we don't really think of it because it just comes naturally to us or we're just so obsessed and we want that particular thing that we just go and get it well life is no different so the question for you today is why are you successful and what well, actually what where are you successful in your life and why are you successful about it and then tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to be talking about how our thoughts and our actions also dictate, but also the thoughts in our head 
are like, I'm not enough. I'm not good enough. So tomorrow we're going to be going over the thoughts that constantly cloud our heads so that we can't move forward, keeps us drained and moved. And that's pretty much it. So I'm Kimberly Liu. If this video helped you in any way, I hope this video liberates you. But if it helped you in any way, please press like and subscribe. And remember to share this video with a friend on a group, um, in an inbox, on a page. Just share this video. I'm going to be doing this every day this month on Monday through Friday at 6.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And remember, I do, like I said, hope this video liberates you. And, you know, remember, it's like your emotional, your mental, your physical well-being, it's all connected. So let's find your freedom together. I love you guys. Mwah. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow morning.